Hello everyone, welcome to the WP Carousel plugin video tutorial. Before going to the plugin features, let's see a few examples of the carousel and gallery showcase that can be created using the WP Carousel plugin. You can create a beautiful carousel and grid with images, posts, and product source types. Once you have installed and activated the plugin in your WordPress dashboard, you will see a menu named WP Carousel. When you click on it, it will take you to this page. Here you will find the list of your created shortcuts. Click add new to create a new shortcut and give it a title. Then select a source type from image, post and product. Initially source type is selected as image. Click add image to select images from your media. After selecting the images click create a new gallery and you can see the list of your selected images. You can order the images by doing drag and drop like this. And finally click insert gallery to use those images for your carousel or gallery. Next one is post source type. In the post source type you can see post type is selected as post, filter post is selected as latest that means all the post will be displayed and you can set how many post you want to display in the carousel or gallery. And next one is product source type, filter products and limit options are same as the post source type. Let's move on to the configuration tab, initially you will be in the general settings. You can start by selecting a layout type from carousel and gallery, set a vertical or horizontal space between the items. Configure carousel mode, columns, order by, order and preloader from here. Now let's go back to the image source type and go to the style settings. Here you can show hide the section title and set margin bottom from section title and configure the slider border as you like. Next one is image settings. Here you can set custom image size for the images. Configure image mode laser load and image title attribute from here. Next one is carousel settings. Configure autoplay, autoplay speed, sliding speed, pause on hover, infinite loop, carousel direction and sliding effect from here. More importantly, you can customize the carousel navigation and pagination related properties like you can show hide the navigation and change the navigation color. You can do the same for the pagination as well. Now let's see the carousel in the live preview. I am talking about the show preview button. When you click on it, you will get a live preview before publishing the shortcode into any pages. So click show preview you can see this is how image carousel looks like initially now let's go to the post source type again you'll find a few post related properties in the style settings like you can show hide the post title post content date and author let's see a post carousel examples in the live preview click update preview and you can see this is how a post carousel looks like if you hide the content then it will look much better so you can see how beautifully the post carousel display in the live preview. For the product source type you will get product name, product price, product rating and add to cart buttons to be configured. Update the preview to see a product carousel in example. As you can see this is how a product carousel display. By clicking gallery layout from general settings you will get a gallery preview like this. Now let's get back to the image source type and select layout type as carousel, publish the shortcut, go to a page where you want to display it. Insert the shortcut using the WP carousel Gutenberg block. Select the shortcut and you will get a preview of it, publish the page and view it. You can see how beautifully an image carousel is showing in the web pages. Now let's move on to the plugin settings menu. In the advanced settings, you will find the options to enable or disable all the JS and CSS used in the plugin to run it smoothly. Those are the responsive breakpoints. If you want, you can change the value as you like. And write down the custom CSS here to modify the plugin default styling. Next one is tools menu. Using the tools menu, you can export and import all the carousels you have created with the plugin. That's all about the WP Carousel plugin today. In the upcoming videos, I will show you how you can use those features in the plugin to make your carousel even more attractive and meaningful. Until then, take care.